we go. And so this is the 30th of October, 2024. Halloween is tomorrow, and November is coming up on Friday, so getting really close to the election and to a lot of new energy entering the planet and the planets moving around astrologically in interesting ways <laughs> in November. So as we breathe in and breathe out, we drop all those thoughts and we enter into this moment. Breathing in, breathing out, just drawing the breath through the body, opening up the tight, cranky spaces, and just imagining all your meridians are open and flowing every time you consciously breathe in, pause, breathe out. So focusing on that breath this morning and focusing on open. As you're breathing in, you can mentally repeat, I am opening. As you breathe out, you can mentally repeat, I am letting go of resistance. As you breathe in, you breathe in, I am opening to this moment, to being fully present in this moment and practicing mindful awareness. Breathing in, I am fully present and open. Breathing out, I release resistance, I release stuck energy, I release what no longer serves my highest good. <clears throat> so we can use the breath in so many ways. We can connect it to our thoughts and our statements like we're doing now, breathing in, I am fully present, breathing out, I'm releasing all my worries about the past and you know putting that together with the breath makes the affirmation even stronger breathing in I am present breathing out I release the past so those are the beginning words of our invocation for 2024 which we're going to go ahead and open with now breathing in I am present breathing out I release the past breathing in I am present, breathing out. I let go of worrying about the future. I am aware. I am awake. I am fully present in this moment, practicing mindful awareness, breathing in. I am fully present, breathing out. I am fully present, breathing in. I am present, breathing out. I release the past, breathing in. I am present. Breathing out, I let go of worrying about the future. I am aware, I am awake, I am fully present in this moment, practicing mindful awareness. Breathing in, I am present. Breathing out, I release the past. Breathing in, I am present. Breathing out, I let go of worrying about the future. I am aware, I am awake, I am fully present in this moment, practicing mindful awareness breathing in i am fully present breathing out i am fully present and here's where we start to now that we're fully present become aware of our subtle bodies the mental the emotional the physical the psychic spirit well the physical is not subtle but being aware of that body is good for you as well. So you become aware of the system that you're in and you notice any places it's out of balance. And then you said, okay, I'm going to move into my chakra system and I'm going to uh, look at that system and notice my chakras. Are they aligned? Are they bright in color? Are they spinning? Breathing in breathing out so taking a nice deep breath to activate the root chakra we focus on the color red ah the red energy at the pelvis at the tailbone going down the right leg the left leg and grounding you to the new healed whole mother earth through the bottom of your feet so grounding so important right now and since the earth is in turmoil the 3d version of the earth we need to ground to the new healed whole mother earth which is the holographic blueprint of the new earth so we can be already a little bit ahead in the sense that we're aware of the changes and we're not getting caught up with the changes the things that are leaving the planet that are breaking down that are kind of going down the drain we're not going to go down the drain with them breathing in I am present, 
Breathing out, I release the past. Breathing in, I am present. Breathing out, I let go of worrying about the future. So right here, right now, um, balanced and um, you know centered in ourselves, breathing in and out, we connect to the new healed home Mother Earth, the future Earth. So we're connecting to the future Earth and bringing it into the present. Breathing in, breathing out. Hmm. So, surrounding your body in a container of light, below the feet, above the head, in front of the body, behind, to the right and the left, and dropping your awareness to the root chakra, to the red energy, bringing it into the body. And we activate it with the low-toned ohm for our exercise to bring it into balance. And then we can chant the one-syllable Sanskrit mantra that goes with the root chakra, which is LAM. Ready? Om LAM. From the red chakra at the tailbone, we move to the belly, to the orange chakra, surround your navel area, kind of hip to hip, goes around that part of the body, kidney to kidney. Visualizing orange, we have um, lots of persimmons growing on the trees now, um, so I'm seeing orange persimmons everywhere, breathing in and breathing out. We'll do the medium toned ohm to activate this chakra and um, VAM is the one syllable Sanskrit mantra with a V. And breathing in and out, we come up to the solar plexus, the yellow energy. That's up here with your, it includes a part of your liver and your stomach and your pancreas. Solar plexus is a power chakra, and it's also in a physical part of your body. It connects to a lot of the central organs that, you know, keep your body going and power you through your day. So pancreas, spleen, they're all over here. So as we're breathing in stomach, as we're breathing in and out, bringing the yellow in, just imagine you're getting a sun treatment, a big vitamin D treatment. You're kind of just laying on the earth and the sun is shining on your belly area and up onto your solar plexus area. You're bringing in that yellow energy into the body for healing and for strength and for energy, breathing in. Ah, breathing out. Feels good, right? Ah, yellow energy. And it's a high-toned ohm for our um, exercise. And Ram is the one uh, syllable Sanskrit mantra. you were warmed up and you have the first three um, spinning the root the uh, uh, sacral and the solar plexus they're all spinning they're grounding you to the earth and getting you ready for your interactions today and the energy of interacting with people and family and how you move out there into your tasks and into the day breathing in breathing out we come to the heart next the fourth chakra and this is green in energy in the chest you can bring your palm up and gently rub the chest area counterclockwise to bring in more love and to open it up clockwise if you're already filled with it and you want to give it out into the world back and forth 
Or you can place your hands in Anjali Mudra prayer pose in front of the heart. Ah, that is our exercise sound. We visualize green pouring through. Ah, ah, so big. Ah, with a nice sigh. Ah, opening up the jaw, dropping the chin. Ah, yum is the one syllable Sanskrit mantra. Ah, yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. I love and accept myself exactly as I am. I love and accept you exactly as you are. You can start maybe thinking of any ascended masters or deities you work with. Ah, and just feeling your connection to them. If you're particularly connected to your guides, if you're not, just kind of connecting and opening to the universal love. Ah, yum, ah, yum. I love and accept myself exactly as I am. And I love and accept you exactly as you are. And then well, we're taking a simple few moments for this. This is something you can meditate on to bring more loving kindness into the world. Love and acceptance of the self, then love and acceptance of you know, bringing your consciousness and awareness to those you love and your family and your lovers and your friends and your pets. And then you can even bring that love a little further, like a pebble in a pool, to people that are in your life every day that are kind of neutral, like a person who stocks the shelves, a person who, you know, loads up the gas tank so you can gas up your car, the person who keeps the streets swept, the person who... Um, works with the electricity of the stoplights and so on and so forth the road crews you know a lot of neutral people in our lives that we're not really aware of but they make our lives run smoother so we can open to gratitude there expand our circle of love and then of course the most difficult part of practice of loving kindness meditations is beginning to op stay open in the face of those adversarial people in your life, those difficult people, those people that, you know, are seemingly aggressively starting wars or arguments or irritating or hard to be around. So the practice of love and kindness is a real, um, it's a real practice of um, sort of sacrifice, you know, compassion, just giving it out into the world, taking time in your day to spread love, not just into your loved ones and to those that you interact with, but out into the world of the neutral and even maybe with practice you can extend beyond that to extending that love to thine enemies, breathing in and breathing out. So loving the brother as the self, as they said in the Bible, and the sister, breathing in Breathing out. Ah, yum. Green energy. Ah, yum. Softening. Being more patient, more kind. Ah, yum. And then we're coming up to the first of the three top chakras, which deal with our real, the outer world, our connection to the outer world, to the universe, to each other, our communication first one is the communication and that is the throat it's the blue energy like blue of the sky the bright blues breathing in breathing out hum. so h-u-m with the lion breath hum. where your tongue comes down to your chin hum. and your paws flare up hum. 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 If you feel slightly lightheaded afterwards, there's probably some toxins releasing that could be from toxic thoughts or toxic verbiage or toxic emotions or just even toxins in the physicality. Hum! Hum! So the tongue coming to the chin, the paws flaring up. Hum! Visualizing that bright blue of the sky. And now visualizing blue... Um, you chant hum, H-U-M, which is the one syllable Sanskrit mantra as well, but we chant it now. Hum, hum. So 
five chakras and when we move to the sixth chakra I always like start to bring my hands in the open pose and I begin to visualize those guides those guardians those teachers those people around you that are bodhisattvas in the flesh that are serving the world that are bringing happiness they don't always look like spiritual teachers sometimes they are and sometimes they're you know your kindergarten teacher or the nurse or the guy packing the groceries there's a lot of um, bodhisattvas acting in the world in whatever roles they're in and we can be grateful for that um, and we can be grateful for those unembodied angels and archangels and guides and guardians so I always think of them and I bring in a little bit of gratitude when I get to the um the sixth chakra, the sixth chakra, the third eye, I start thinking about um, all those things to be grateful for. So just taking a moment and letting yourself express out, I'm grateful for my breath. I'm grateful for this moment in life. I'm grateful that I'm awakening. I'm grateful for, and you go ahead and express your gratitude. Breathing in breathing out and the exercise sound is a high pitch which I always thought spirit gave to me when I thought of it later I never thought of it in the beginning but when I thought of it later I thought oh, it's like piercing the illusion and the delusion I can kind of feel it waking up my third eye when I do this exercise and visualize indigo and then there is a one syllable Sanskrit mantra that is sham try that sham sham Sham. And here we go with our exercise. Indigo. Sham. 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 Sham, sham, sham. Continuing with the open palms to receive, start to visualize violet, amethyst color, purple, breathing in and out and visualizing that color at the top of the head with that chakra at the top of the head, opening up and streaming up to spirit and spirit streaming back down. So getting that nice passageway open for receiving and for giving and just bringing that energy in the palms are open you might start to feel some energy in the top of your head right now or your palms if you're still you can feel it in your body <laughs> feel my body activating breathing in and out and this is um, exercise sound that opens it up and activates it is wah going from a low to a high wah, 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 wah. and when you get to the highest sound that you can until it drifts into a sound beyond your your hearing just let yourself be still for a few moments and receive back the shower of light that comes from heaven's force, from spirit, from the universal flow, from the universal force. Ready? And once again. <sighs> breathing in, breathing out. One syllable Sanskrit mantra for the crown chakra is Aum. And it's also a perfect way to seal the practice, to close down for today in this time of silence before we go into the Aum. Just let yourself maybe express your gratitude to spirit again, express your intention for the day, for your life. Express your desire for help on staying on the path and reminding yourself to stay clear, whatever it is. Just take a moment in silence and then we'll go into the OM to seal the practice. You can. 
place the palms back on the heart or together palm to palm and Anjali Mudra for this, whatever works for you. Ready to set your intention. And ready, here we go. Ooh. 